Hey guys, it's Emerald Moons here and today I'll be showing you how to make this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Titanium Bracelet and it was designed by Fangirl Crafts on Instagram. I will show her account right now. So as you can see, it's Fangirl Crafts. It's actually got two underscores, so yeah, don't get confused. Um, so yeah, go follow her. She's got some really cool um, designs and stuff. This is her account. I believe she used to be um, called that before. She had posted a photo of the titanium bracelet, but I think she started fresh. So yeah, go give her a follow and yeah. So you'll be needing a hook, a C-clip and some bands. Today I'll be using hot pink and ocean pearl and glow in the dark pastel bands. So now we can get started. To start, we'll have to make a six loop setup. So you're going to start off with a cap band, pull a band through, and pick up the outermost loop and close it. And then you'll add a band um, to the left and right sides. So firstly, we're going to take a band, pull it through the first two loops, and pick up the outside one. And now we're going to switch sides. Lift off the first band, pick up the cap band loop again, and then you're going to pull a band through the first two loops and pick up the outside one. Just like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add your first inside band, which for me is going to be like the reddish colour, to start off my pastel rainbow. And you're going to pull it through all the bands except for the last one. So our goal is to pull it through the middle four loops and pick up the outside two loops, dropping the middle two. So I'm going to pull it through the first five and pick up the outside two of those middle four loops. And then, of course, the first band, put it back on the hook and then rearrange so that it should look something like this. And now we're going to grab our border colour again and what we're going to do is we're going to pull it through the first three loops. Now you want to be careful because you don't want these to switch place. They have to stay the way they are. And then you're going to pick up the outside loop and close it. So these two bands here, the coloured band and then this band here, can switch place very easily. If that happens, you can just... um rearrange it back into place and it don't worry it's actually meant to be like that that's how the design works so I'm going to um, do the same to the other side pull it through the first three and pick up the outside one the start part's going to be a bit um I can't explain it like bunched up kind of but it will need an up as we go so now we're ready for our next color next center band and we're going to pull it through all of them except the last one. It's the same as the step we did earlier on. So we're going to pick up this first loop, skip the next two and pick up the rest. And then rearrange that first loop over. You can just try to pull on it a little bit so that it needn't up. And then we're going to add our border bands again. So take one, pull it through the first three loops on your hook and pick up the outside most loop. And we're going to switch sides and do the same thing again. Pull it through the first three and lift the outside one. So now I'm back to step one again. I'm going to take a band, center band of course, pull it through the first five Pick up the first loop, skip the next two and pick up the rest. Rearrange that first loop. I'm going to pull um, a band through the first three loops. Pick up the outside one. And now we're going to switch sides. And do it again. We 
this is what it should start to look like. And as you can see, it's looking better and better as we go along. I'll show you guys one last time. So you're going to take a band, your centre colour, and if you want, you can do it like this too, so you can pinch the first band and take that off, then put the blue band on your hook, pull it through these four loops, four bands, pick up the outside two, and then put these two back on to the hook. And then we'll add our border bands, so one on either side. So you're going to pull it through the first three loops and pick up the outside loop and switch sides. Now my bands are out of order, so I'm going to put them back in order again. Like that. Now take it, pull it through the first three loops and pick up the outside So this is what it's starting to look like so far. So you're just basically going to continue doing this until it's long enough to fit your wrist. And to close it off, um, it's fairly simple. You can just pull a band through the whole lot and then attach your sear clip onto that. If you have another way of closing it off, that's completely fine too. I think one time I did something different, like weird, like I might have crossed these over or something like that and then put sequins on both sides. can't exactly remember, but yeah. And that's how you make the titanium bracelet. I'm going to finish this off camera since the colours are so pretty in this and I would like to make it full length. And that is how you make the titanium bracelet. If you decide to post a pic of this to Instagram, please don't forget to hashtag fangirl underscore underscore crafts. Actually, I'm not sure if underscores work in hashtags, but never mind. If they don't, just hashtag fangirl crafts or whatever. Tag her in your photo so that she can see it. And also um, hashtag Emma Looms and tag me as well because I'd love to see your renditions. This is such a beautiful design and I'm totally like, wow. So glad that um, I was able to do a tutorial for this. And um, just um, shout out to Fangirl Craft, who's been waiting so patiently for me to do a tutorial on this for her. I think it's been like forever, and yeah, I feel so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for um, being really um, kind about it and patient. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you could give it a thumbs up, because you know. The YouTube video and yeah I'll see you in my next tutorial bye